How many kids you got, man? Five. However, the youngest boy died last year in um, May last year. Young Kane. That was a... It was more of a... For me, it was what rubber stamped sort of cemented to being nice do you know like to being nice to people because that's what my son was he was a lovely kid that was just nice to everyone and he just wanted everybody to get on and I think I just took a little bit of that away I've just been a nicer person. And this is, I've just been nicer. I've tried to, I've tried to be more of, I've tried to be more of the man that he was, if that makes sense. I mean, I've tried to be more of the man that he was. And it's been nice because the sun has been on my skin every day since his passing. How do you get over that, Marv? Well, you you, you don't, don't ever get over that, do you? Don't, mate. You know what? You sort of learn. You sort of learn to deal with it. You learn to deal with it. And it's like life is a, a lesson to learn and every scenario, every situation, you've got to learn from what you go through. So we've all had to learn from this and... What it has done, I believe, is just, it brought us all closer together. Although there's a lot of turbulence, energy and emotion-wise, it's brought us all a little bit closer together where there's no excuses not to talk. There's no excuses not to communicate. Like We're all valuing life a little bit more than we did, I believe. And everybody's just become a little bit more friendly. Like, yeah, there's no... There's not as much hostility within the family household now when having two baby mums and two sets of kids could have caused a lot of problems and issues and dramas, but it isn't, it hasn't, and everybody's getting on really well. So, yeah, life's good with the family. All the family's pretty well, apart from the loss of Kane. It's mad though, it's something so dark and heartbreaking it takes to then realise that life is too short. It's a shame it happened and you can't ever, words don't do justice for that, really don't. However, you've got to look at it as, I don't know, it's more ingredients to get through more life. It's just life and it's the game of life. And we've all got to experience these losses. We've all got to experience these traumas. We've all got to experience these changes. And it's just how you come out as a team and being the man and the alpha, I'm responsible for my team and the team is the family. And hopefully everyone will come together a lot better than we have been and end a, a journey that's insurmountable and show people how you can do it because there was a lot of conflict, a lot of turbulence in my relationships. And uh, I created a lot of bad energy. Obviously, the world I lived in, the choices I made, I broke some hearts and took some liberties. And now we've gone through life and we've learned. And I think we're getting better now. And it's, that's what I said to me, it's all healing. Everything I'm doing now is just all healing. And I don't mind it. I'm accountable for where I've been and what I've done. And I can accept the healing. And I know it's going to be harder because we've got one more stage to go through. Could the loss of your son push you over the edge to go the other way, Marv? Or were you too strong and too set in your ways to then give you the reasons to then keep going on the straight path? I think the way he died made it more acceptable. I honestly couldn't, 
I wouldn't like to be in a position to answer the question if someone killed my son, what would I do? Do you know what I'm saying? Because you don't know. You can't answer that. You can't answer that. I'd like to believe I'd ring the police. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> That's why I'd like to believe I'd really please if someone killed my son, but you just don't know. That's one thing you, you dread. So losing my son in unfortunate circumstances that we did was bearable, better than any other sort of scenario. Because some, if someone had done something to my son, that you'd have that emotion where you have to do something. So... That's the one thing I'm glad we didn't have to face. Do you know what I mean? So there's lots of contributing factors which has allowed the healing of his passing to be more palatable, if that makes sense, because it could have been a lot worse. A lot worse for him, worse for everybody. Do you know what I mean? Because who knows? Who knows what you do, how you react and how you behave when... Bad things happen. So that's the test, isn't it? So hopefully, fingers crossed, things will never transpire in that way where someone would want to kill my kids. Do you know what I mean? Or do something to my kids where I'd be challenged. I don't know. I'd rather not think about it. I believe all my kids are going to live a very healthy life. I think they're all going to live beyond the age of AE. Do you know what I mean? I don't believe they're going to have much more trauma in their lives to deal with. I think I've done through that. As long as they will learn from what I've been through, then they will do what was necessary from the universe, I'd imagine. Why do you think you've been through so much trauma from the day you're born to even now? It's always... Because I can't deal with it. <laughs> Simple, is it? Like, I get emotional now because it is hurt. Like, what I've been through has hurt. <sighs> But that's why it was me. Because I don't think... <laughs> I don't think there'd be many people that can sit and face adversity and smile as much as I have. Do you know what I mean? So I think the purpose for my life was for what I'm doing now. There ain't a young kid that can come into my company, yeah, that could have an argument with me on why his life should be go the way he wants it to go on the criminal fraternity, in the criminal fraternity. The only one thing that I cannot sort of empathise with or even understand is like being sexually abused. I've never been sexually abused, so I don't know how I'd react. Hence the reason why sometimes on social media people say things, people do things, but people have been really traumatised in life and it's about healing. People have to heal and I don't know if I could ever heal if someone raped me. So I give people a lot of space and time to heal for themselves. I let everybody heal. I'm just glad I was never raped because the trauma I've dealt with has been mad enough, crazy enough, and tangible enough to deal with. Whereas having it taken out of your hands and put into the penis of somebody else, rammed into you time and time again, I don't know how I'd feel. So hurt people hurt people and all they'll ever try to do is hurt people so i'm not here to hurt no one all i want to do is add value to anybody that wants to move forward in the most constructive positive harmonious way possible <laughs>